The Hong Kong Stock Exchange is a Chinese stock exchange located in Hong Kong. It is Asia's third largest stock exchange in terms of market capitalization behind the Tokyo Stock Exchange and Shanghai Stock Exchange, and the sixth largest in the world behind Euronext. As of November 30, 2013, the Hong Kong Stock Exchange had 1,615 listed companies, 776 of which are from mainland China, 737 from Hong Kong and 102 from abroad Hong Kong exchanges and clearing is the holding company for the exchange. The stock market trading floor is found at Exchange Square. History Records of securities trading in Hong Kong date back to 1866. In 1891 when the Association of Stockbrokers in Hong Kong was established, Hong Kong had its first formal stock market. It was renamed the Hong Kong Stock Exchange in 1914. By 1972, Hong Kong had four stock exchanges in operation. There were subsequently calls for the formation of a unified stock exchange. The Stock Exchange of Hong Kong Limited was incorporated in 1980 and trading on the exchange finally commenced on April 2, 1986. Since 1986, a number of major developments have taken place. The 1987 market crash revealed flaws in the market and led to calls for a complete reform of the Hong Kong securities industry. This led to significant regulatory changes and infrastructural developments. As a result, the Securities and Futures Commission was set up in 1989 as the single statutory securities market regulator. The market infrastructure was much improved with the introduction by the exchange of the Central Clearing and Settlement System in June 1992 and the Automatic Order Matching and Execution System in November 1993. Since then, the framework of market rules and regulations, both exchange administered or otherwise, have been undergoing continuing review and revision to meet changing market needs while ensuring effective market regulation. The exchange listing rules have been made more comprehensive, and other existing regulations have been improved or new regulations introduced to enhance market development and investor protection. Enhancements were also made to the system infrastructure, including the launch of off-floor trading terminals in Brocursa Euro unregistered trademark offices in January 1996. The third generation of the trading system, AMS-3, will be launched in 2000. It will provide enhanced functionality and a platform for a straight-through transaction process. In respect of market and product development, there are the listing of the first derivative warrant in February 1988, the listing of the first China Incorporated Enterprise in July 1993, and the introduction of regulated short selling in January 1994 on stock options in September 1995. Furthermore, the exchange introduced the growth enterprise market in November 1999 to provide fundraising opportunities for growth companies of all sizes from all industries and to promote the development of technology industries in the region. In order to meet the challenge from technological advances, globalization of the international financial markets and the needs of the increasingly sophisticated investors both locally and overseas, fundamental reform of the existing market structure is needed. According to the reform plan announced in March 1999, the exchange, the Hong Kong Futures Exchange and their clearing houses will merge into a new holding company. The Hong Kong Exchanges and Clearing Limited. The new holding company will ultimately seek a listing on the exchange. Equals brief chronology equals, on April 2, 1986, a new trading hall is opened. At that time, a total of 249 companies were listed on the exchange, total market capitalization was 245 billion Hong Kong dollars, October 6, 1986, stock exchange grand opening. October 1987, the stock exchange is closed for four days in an attempt to stop losses during Black Monday global equities market crash, May 1988, the Ian Hay Davison report, commissioned to investigate practices on the exchange in the lead-up to its closure, is released, resulting in significant market reforms, although many took years to finally implement, on June 24, 1992. The Central Clearing and Settlement System is introduced, on July 15, 1993, in the Tsingtai Brewery became the first Chinese enterprise to list its eight shares on the exchange. 
On November 1, 1993, a new automatic order matching and execution system, AMS-1, was introduced on the exchange. Later, in January 1996, the second phase AMS-2 was introduced, becoming the basis of off-floor trading. On November 12, 1999, the Tracker Fund of Hong Kong, created by government intervention during the 1997 Asian financial crisis, had its introduction on the exchange. November 25, 1999, two companies were jointly listed on the newly created growth enterprise market. On March 6, 2000, the Stock Exchange, Futures Exchange and the Hong Kong Securities Clearing Company all became wholly owned subsidiaries of KEX, which was in turn listed on June 27, 2000. On October 23, 2000, AMS-3 was implemented on the exchange, source, HKX. Equals exchange history and predecessors equals. Trading hours. The trading day consists of a pre-opening auction session from 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. The opening price of a security is reported shortly after 9.20 a.m. A morning continuous trading session from 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m., an extended morning session from 12.00 noon to 1 p.m., also referred to as the lunch break. Continuous trading proceeds in specifically designated securities. Trading in other securities is not possible. However, previously placed orders in any securities can be cancelled from 1 p.m. onwards. An afternoon continuous trading session from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., the closing price is reported as the median of five price snapshots taken from 3.59 to 4 p.m. every 15 seconds. In May 2008, the exchange also implemented a closing auction session to run from 4 p.m. to 4.10 p.m., with a similar pricing mechanism as the opening auction. However, this resulted in significant fluctuations in the closing prices of stocks and suspicions of market manipulation. Initially, the exchange proposed limiting price fluctuations in the auction sessions to 2%. In the end, they removed the closing session entirely in March 2009. Up until 2011, trading hours comprised a pre-opening auction from 9.30 a.m. to 9.50 a.m followed by continuous trading from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and 2.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. The two-hour lunch break between the morning and afternoon sessions was the longest among the world's 20 major stock exchanges. A 2003 proposal to shorten the lunch break failed due to opposition from brokers. Another plan to shorten the lunch break to one hour was floated by the exchange in 2010. The morning session would then start earlier, run from 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m., and the afternoon session from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., leaving the closing time the same as before. Justifications included bringing hours into line with China. Reactions from both brokers and the restaurant industry were mixed. On March 7, 2011, the exchange extended its hours in the first of two phases. The morning session now ran from 9.30 a.m. to 12 o'clock noon, followed by a 90-minute lunch break, and an afternoon session from 1.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Index futures and options now began trading at 9.15 a.m., 30 minutes earlier than before, and closed at the same time as before, 4.15 p.m. On March 5, 2012, the lunch break was cut to 60 minutes, with the afternoon session running from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Electronic trading, the exchange first introduced a computer-assisted trading system on April 2, 1986. In 1993 the exchange launched the automatic order matching and execution system, which was replaced by the third generation system in October 2000. Regulatory Role, David Webb, independent non-executive director of the exchange since 2003, has been arguing for a super-regulatory authority to assume that role as regulator, as there is inherent conflict between its commercial and regulatory roles. In the meantime, he argues for improved investor representation on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. In 2007, the uproar by smaller local stockbrokers over the decision by board of directors to cut minimum trading spreads for equities and warrants trading at between 25 HK cents and 2 Hong Kong dollars caused the new board to vote to reverse the decision. The reforms were to be implemented in the first quarter, 
but was put back on the table following protests by brokers. Webb criticized the board for caving into vested interests. Trading characteristics it is perfectly normal for Hong Kong stocks of even well-known companies to trade at prices that correspond to less than four Hong Kong dollars a share. A Hong Kong stock would not be considered a penny stock unless its price was less than about 50 cents. Each stock has its own individual board lot size. Purchases in amounts which are not multiples of the board lot size are done in a separate odd lot market. There is a close-in price rule for limit orders which must be within 24 ticks of the current price. Individual brokers may impose an even stricter rule. For instance, HSBC requires limit orders to be within 10 ticks of the current price. Broker support for triggered order types such as market if touched orders would allow placing orders further away, which would be sent to the exchange when the price condition was established. 17 largest stocks by market capitalization, source, Bloomberg, in billions of Hong Kong dollars, data updated on April 20, 2010, Petro China, $2,492.04, Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, $1,810.14, China Mobile, $1,584.90, China Construction Bank, $1,514.72, HSBC Holdings, $1,433.27, Bank of China, $1,127.57, Singuk Corporation, $957.57, China Life Insurance, $922.64, China Shenhua Energy, $636.23, CNOOC, $609.29, Ping and Insurance Group of China, $448.11, Bank of Communications, $439.83, Standard Chartered Bank, $429.77, China Merchants Bank, $366.36, China Telecom, $309.16, Sun Hung Kai Properties, $299.51, Tencent Holdings, $286.53. See also, A Share, Companies Listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, Economy of Hong Kong H Share, Hang Seng Index, Leading Stock, List of Companies of Hong Kong, List of Stock Exchanges, Stock Disasters in Hong Kong. References External links, Official Site